okay, everyone, I just need to show you something pretty phenomenal, really, and a sign of things to come. So maybe a lot of you have heard of the Ripple agent that's coming up. Well, I, I got, I saw on Twitter, another application called GPT engineer. And from my use of it, I've used both. I actually think it's better. I actually think it's better. In one evening, one evening on my iPad, this is how much I created. Absolutely insane. So um, we'll look at these four, these five here. So, and this is just this. So GPT engineer is being, is being marketed as like front end. So it just can mock up your front end. It doesn't build your whole application, but it enables you to mock up your front end. Now, like if you relate this back to how much um, developers cost, the time it takes, etc., you know, you're looking at tens of thousands of dollars in some cases, just to get these mock-ups, um, maybe, maybe less than that in some cases, but like I did five of these in one evening on my iPad. Like that is what is happening. That's, that's how fast things are changing. So check this out. So just check out the, the detail that these go into. Like it's thousands of lines of code, thousands. I wouldn't say they're, they're, they're not in products at all, but they're fantastic mock-ups, right? So like I can work with my developers and we can just really speed up the time. We get out new um, applications. We get out new features to um, to our main platform, et cetera. Just even just playing around with features, right? And I'll show you show you the actual code it actually creates. And you can, um, so like I, I drew inspiration but, but, um, from this other app that I look at sometimes just in terms of um, showing the market landscape. And so I wanted to, um, build an app that enabled me to load a lot of logos and uh, then you click on the logo and then something pops up and then you can read a little bit about the company and the idea was that you could um, also maybe compare companies as well um, you can go into card view so I, I created this just with natural language right I'll show you another one all of these by the way can be synced up to github it's one click, it goes to GitHub, uh, uh, right? And um, th that to me is just amazing as well. It's just totally dropping the, um, well, it's democratizing the ability to use GitHub. Like I really only got into GitHub less than a month ago and I already have 19 repository, like repos that I'm building code in. I'm far more familiar with the overall coding uh, um, experience within there. And these sort of tools just make it really easy, right? Because you can also um, put it into GitHub, come back the next day, continue to manipulate your front end ideas or your uh, mockups here uh, the next day, the next day, the next day. I haven't like pushed these um, apps like right to the edge yet. So, you know, building, putting it into production, but in terms of just mocking it up, it's, it's amazing. It's totally amazing. Okay, so let's have a look at another one. So I've always had these like apps that I wanted to build in my mind and this enabled me to mock them up all really quickly. Like I had a list of them. I, I was building them in Claude, um, but this enabled me to um, really quickly mock, mock them up. This one here, Knowledge Navigator, like I've always wanted to build better documentation. <laughs> like when you go to say the Microsoft docs, they're boring as they're so boring. And so I wanted to make them more engaging, more, more dynamic. And so I, I just mocked up like a documentation area, um, uh, template, and I'll show you what this looks like. Surely I'll actually open a new tab. You can actually look at the whole thing. And by the way, I didn't write a single line of code here, not a single line. It was all done via natural language. Okay. So this is what it built for me. Say I wanted to go into, um, a, specific topic i could come in here and click on this click on say this so it's building the front end application right so obviously we need to fill it with a whole lot of data and a whole lot of um interesting um yeah here we go so something like that right so just like easier way to navigate maybe we could have some quizzes related topics so it just built it up we would need to do a lot of work the back end. So back end is a big part of app development as well. But this is building out the front end for us. Okay. Really, really quickly. So and trust me, like the, the documentation to actually build the back end can be done all for you as well. I asked it to build me a whole readme file about how to build the back end and it built it for me in, um, in about one minute. So it's crazy how, um, how quickly you can do that. So let me just show you how detailed the code actually is that is that is developed, right? So it develops 
it, it creates all of this for you, literally all of it. Okay. And so if I come to the SRC file here and I go to say the app, so, it, and, it, and it also really lays it out in a best practice way, which is just stuff that would take so long to learn, right? So long, but it, it really makes it easy to go and find, um, find the key information. So none of those are like too big, but when you come to components, right? See, look at all these components at it. So it's, it's building up the UI via components. So it's using like best practices in, in, in app development. So just, just think about just, just that, that saves you a lot of time, right? So all of these cards, the dashboard area, all built automatically. Knowledge Explorer. And you know, you know what I was doing as well, right? If, if I don't quite understand the code, I've been going, I've been using Data Mentor a lot. And I go to uh, say Code Explainer because GitHub doesn't really have this functionality just yet from what I, maybe it does, but I haven't found it. And this is just the quickest way to start understanding and learning code that's this is exactly what i've been doing like if you see a lot of what i've been doing in my dashboard with my queries you'll see that tons of these are just um uh app development related ones there's a, a lot of python ones i'm actually learning how to do a lot of automations with python as well because my my thinking with these applications was that i needed to um Yes, I can build a front end, but how do I fill it with all the, all the content? How do I fill it with lots of information? Well, you need to sort out your back end. You need to sort out the data acquisition. You need to sort out the databases, all that kind of stuff. So there's a bit to bit to do there. But there's honestly, there's tools that can help you with that. Like the Replit AI agents can help you with that. Cursor, which I haven't used as a new um, tool that can help you with that. So it's, it's actually going to be about combining a lot of these tools. That's what I think. That's what I truly think um, is um, is happening, and it's gonna is gonna become more more prevalent. Like we're gonna use a lot of AIs to do to learn and to to actually do things. Okay, so let's just quickly run through just a couple of others. I'll just show you how like like it's just kind of mind blowing that I was able to do this in one evening, right? And on my iPad, like I didn't have to sit up, sit down on my computer. Okay, so let's have a look at this one here. See here that it's just a chat on the left hand side. So simple. The U the UI here is magnificent. It's really, really good. I have a feeling it's using the Claude API as well, because just the way that it's sort of writing the code um, is very similar to what the experience you get in the artifacts area of Claude. Cool. So built built with this sort of node um, knowledge map, right? And then the idea is that you can click on, say, the idea of the front end is that you click on a topic, right? Um, and then you get a bit of a high level there. You could build that out a bit more. Then we go learn more. And then you see here that it's sort of set up like a really detailed page about that particular topic. And the idea is this, this could be another sort of documentation type uh, tool also. Okay, I'll show you another one. So another one here was, wouldn't it be amazing to have a data flow creator, but also just data flow templates, um, like data pipeline templates? Because I think a lot of um, um, those who work in data, the, the sort of overall data pipeline is a bit of a mystery sometimes. And the ability to be able to see how, how you do something, like see an example of how it can be done or build your own templates as sort of a documenter of how you've built your pipelines. Um, I think I think that's a really powerful tool. It's something that will really fit nicely into um, what Enterprise DNA provides, right? It's great for learning, but also great for uh, productivity and documentation and, um, and building, right? And so the idea here is this data pipeline mock-up tool. You can click on one of these and you sort of build a pipeline, like with lines connecting them. And, and you also have um, your examples that you could say load a template or save pipelines you might have so that was my idea there that i that was a, uh, able to mock up pretty quickly as well i will say that i don't i don't feel that i really have the the skills to sort of take this to production just yet maybe i do like maybe i just need to spend more time and really focus on one i, pro I probably i probably do um but it's just about time i just wanted to just just work on the mock-ups first but this is great if you think about it for getting ideas to your developers right so that they can start quicker there's less of that um friction between getting something going getting something out like that's what's going to happen right is that i mean it's 
the software development has been democratized so much like we're just going to get a new, this enormous wave of like new software okay so just as a and just as a um a flyer i said okay i want to create a ai dynamic dashboard creator right so how can how can we create dashboards but just like automatically right and so you upload a data set you then um the idea is that the AI will analyze the data set and then it will put it into these predefined, so a whole range of predefined dashboards. And you see here that uh, it, the, the entire front end basically was created for the whole front end. So I've got my dashboard, I've got my upload data set, my save dashboards, my data explorer. So if you wanted to do some ad hoc stuff, natural language, query, auto insights, generate insights. So I created this in like half an hour, right? And it's so easy to manipulate. Like I literally just ask a question and I get a new look, a new feel to my um, front end. I definitely feel like this is coming, right? I definitely feel like it. I feel, you know, if you can generate code, like this much code this quickly. So I, I even just go to that dashboard generator, right? Like how much further is it to just automating dashboards? How much further? It's, I would even say some of this stuff looks harder than it would be to automate a dashboard at this point. Uh, like coding a front end, the diversity around the, the, the front end code. Um, so I don't know. It's it's yeah. It's it's it's, it's not a guarantee, but it doesn't doesn't feel that far away. One one thing that yeah, I mean, app development is just being democratized so much. It's crazy. It's just absolutely crazy. I just love the best practices this, this is followed as well. Like if you were just a not, if you're a complete novice like me, you just you just don't know the best way to um, to to build things initially, right? That 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 takes a lot of time, a lot of seeing other examples. But I was able to build five examples and just see the um, the the file um, uh, ex like how the files are being put together, how how the whole thing was being put together, and you know it's actually not that it's not that difficult, right? Like if, when you see it built right, you're like, oh, okay, yes, components, pages, tying the components to the pages, you know, it all, it all kind of makes sense. And then there's obviously actions that you can build off the back of certain interactions with the website. So it sort of, sort of, sort of makes a lot of sense in, in, in terms of how it's been built. So, you know, the, the learning application of things like this is, 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 is amazing too. And if I'm really unsure, if I'm really unsure, I just, you know, say for instance, you know, what is actually going on here? I go to the code explainer, I go to the logic visualizer, and I'm just copying and pasting, but one click, right? And I can get, you know, detailed visuals of, of what is actually going on. And you could probably use this to, to you know, and continue to improve a, a certain uh, front end or improve a certain app. Okay, just wanted to show you, I think that like, was a pretty incredible experience I had um, over the weekend, just like playing around with this, this brand new tool. It's, it's very similar to Replit Agents, but yeah, it's like a lot is changing. A lot is changing due to this new wave of tools. And there's just going to be so much competition in this area. I mean, no no big tech uh, firm is going to be want to be left behind with this sort of functionality, right? And I wouldn't be surprised if some some of the big AI companies that are coming in build this themselves. Like it's just such a killer, killer feature, killer app. So cool. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll just round off there. Thanks all. See you later.